video lecture, I am going to discuss what how to find foreign key constant reference table in Microsoft SQL Server table. So let's use here select a statement. Select a star thereafter from or says is using then after paste dot. So or this place let's use here foreign keys. So foreign keys. After that, let's use here where clause. Where and uh, this is now the reference object ID we need to use. So reference object ID that should be equal to object ID and this place you need to give your table name. So here we know our uh, HR employees has some foreign keys so that uh, or giving HR and uh, let's give in the capital letter HR then employees. So with the help of this query we can easily uh, find out the foreign keys inside this table. If that present then that will display the list. If that not present then that will not display into the list. Execute that query. Now you can see or uh, this is the list of information. So here FK FK FK. So one is TPT, next is EMP, then this one. And this all our foreign key and this is the date created that and this all details you can get here. Okay. So this uh, foreign key that is exit inside the employees table. Now I wanna check here uh, foreign keys and other tables. So let's select here departments. Departments. Now after that let's execute this queries. So departments also has EMP and uh, this uh, all details you can get here. Now let's uh, this time so select here HR and uh, give your jobs. Now execute this query. So here HR jobs you can get this details. Now selecting here is called this time bonus. So as called and this time selecting bonus. I execute this query. So this table that does not has the any uh, foreign key relationship so that it's uh, displaying the empty. But uh, other tables has the foreign key relationship. Okay. So that it's uh, displaying the all details about the foreign case. Let's run this queries once again. Now you can see this is the list of foreign key that's uh, displaying. So this is the way we can find out the foreign case constant reference to a table in Microsoft SQL Server. So I hope guys this video is uh, helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.